The heart of this project is the area of Main Street East between Ontario Street and Thompson Road. This is what it looks like now, but the town hopes to change that over the next several years. Right now, Main Street East, it's a car corridor. It's a traffic sewer, for lack of a better term, right? But there is such a tremendous opportunity to change that, to transform that. And that's where the Reimagining Main Street East project comes into play. The town has a vision of the space becoming an area that can better serve pedestrians, cyclists, and provide everyone with a place to congregate and connect with each other. In terms of community building, that is so critical that people, you know, have that, that opportunity to live close to the GO station, to have all of that transit in place. But also, you know, there, there's a trade-off there. You need to have those higher densities to make that work, but we need to improve our public realm to create a livable community. The area around the GO station is another significant part of the town's plans over the next 20 years. Development is likely to begin this fall, and by the time the entire plan is complete, roughly 25,000 people will live within 800 meters of the GO and it's anticipated they'll be living differently than the previous generation. Housing is changing, especially in Milton, and the type of development we're going to see around our GO station is going to be those higher densities. So in other words, people aren't going to have private backyards. So just, just to really simplify this. So the public realm, as we call it, the streets, the parks, anywhere where the public can congregate, becomes their backyards and becomes areas where people can recreate, where people can meet, where people can congregate, and that's really important in the higher density community. As people try to imagine what that could look like, there are tangible, visible examples of what might be, like the cobblestone pathways, benches, and planters in Victoria Park. Hogan says they might also create pop-up interim examples of this on Main Street East to help residents envision the future. She knows there are challenges ahead. It's getting people to think differently. It's getting people to be imaginative. It's getting people to see what the possibilities are. Anyone who wants to share their ideas and have a say in the project can do so at letstalkmilton.ca. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.